have got this much of you since Brisbane. We're heading to Cape York. We're heading north. We left Brisbane this morning. You've, you've tuned in about halfway up. We're heading towards Macquarie, Rockhampton, then Macquarie tomorrow. So um, this is it. I'm kind of making it a little less structured this series. I guess you could call it a bit more like the OG Chaser Lines. I know you guys love that. And I guess we have to. Going back to Cape York, it's been six years. And I'm just going to film whatever the f*** happens. Hang on, I've definitely got the wrong lens on here. Sorry about being so zoomed in. I don't know what's going on. This is the outdoor camera. I don't know where I track my indoor camera. I'll have to find it. So the plan was simple. Just like last time, we didn't make a plan at all. Four cars, few mates, head to the tally track and see what happens. We made it. Woo. Night one. What Fried have we got? We've, we've got some uh, frozen, frozen peas. bacon, frozen peas. Yeah, so if anyone gets hurt, I can also use them as an ice pack and yep. they're also tasty and fried rice. Oh, so this is Darcy. Darcy's come on the trip. Darcy's a paramedic, much. so that's a tick in my box. And then this is a familiar car you may have seen before. Flashback to the big rundown. Oh! You beat me! Wow, wow. How are you just going? Yeah, good. Good day, good driving, Michael. And I've right oh, bloody forgot your name, already. Taylor. Taylor and Michael. And you have, you haven't made dinner yet. Yeah, you? no, no, too busy. Yeah, too busy um, playing with his Audi chainsaw. Audi chainsaw. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Yeah, Audi, hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Yeah. You, you. Are they from Audi? Yeah, yeah, fresh. This is like the full Audi setup. Then you, you spent all your money store. on your car. Yeah, can't afford it. Proper products. <laughs> we need fire. Alright, so, I'll, I'll go get to it, alright? Oh, oh no! Shit. Look at that sunset over there, right? It's bloody beautiful, and then you just hear this. <laughs> Quick product placement. Everyone gets free beanies! You need them out at Fink. Well, now we can go go camping. I think these are available now. I'm pretty sure by the time you're watching this, they'll be on the website. Just made a discovery. That's not bacon. That's not <laughs> it's not bacon. <laughs> it's not bacon. <laughs> so you have a bit pork like bacon. For dinner. Yeah, well, I guess pork. I think that's what's going to happen. Pork, pork and beef. might go all right in the stir fry, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. How's that fire going? Yeah, look, no good. I'm just too busy eyeing off his food. <laughs> Works really good, eh? <laughs> wow, man, that's sick, eh? Is it's it from Audi, Audi. That's or is it off Wish? It's a toy, it's off Wish. <laughs> it must be off Wish. Go Backup go. plan. There's no way that's going through that. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to do some chainsaw mods now. We made an epic discovery. The chain's on backwards. Oh, it's hot! That's the exhaust pipe! <laughs> 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 Hang on, go back to you for a second. He's still going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the chain goes that way. <laughs> Alright, make sure your thongs are done up. We're just leaving the first night's camp. We're heading out to Mackay today to pick up the last member of the crew. Short little drive and then apparently he's got a camp for us um, a couple hours north. Beach camp. That's 50? a kit lens, hey. Yeah, yeah the 50? kit lens. Oh, hey, I've got some, N I've got some variable NDs for you if you need them. You'll need them. Oh. How does it even screw on, Mark? It'd be internal thread. Yeah, That's so small. Oh no, is it 50 or 49? Oh no, is this 40. still recording? Hello? 40. <laughs> Last minute installs. Haven't even left. Last there. minute installs, alright? Already out the mechanics. Hey! <laughs> is it a new shop? Good thing we're out of mechanics because now Darcy's cars have uh, got a bit of a tickle going on. <laughs> it's just your engine, I think. It's, oh, I know what it is. It's this. Making a noise. <laughs> Mitsubishi. You see these? These Locked things? All of the power. That's Locked where the power comes from. Started. I'm gonna leave my hand on it. <laughs> Whoa, I'm scared. I need a rope or something. We'll both do it. Put the big fella in here. Let me grab it first. Go. Right, there you go. Down we go. It's not fair. So after some shenanigans with Sam. Um, <laughs> what? <I've>, uh, <laughs> What'd you do? I think I've um, boiled the clutch fluid. She's um, a bit hard to get into gears at the moment. Right. But we'll just well, wait for it to cool down. 
Yeah, we had a race and we really shouldn't have. We shouldn't have had a race. Brake diff stuff. Yeah. Axles, no good. Yeah. Brakey town. Yeah. Okay, look at my airtight water box. Oh, that's custom. So I checked my airbox for leaks and it wasn't sealing, so I just siliconed it up. Push mechanic fix. So we just picked up. Um, Arca, 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 Arca. Alrighty, so we just stopped in at Mackayim, stopped in at the mechanic, had a little bit of a problem with the Challenger. It was just making a bit of a, a bit of a funny sound from the front of the engine. One of the idler, idler pulleys was just kind of loose, so we figured it must have been that. All right, so now we just pick up another fella called Arca, and we're heading to a place called Dingo Beach, he recommends. Also, I had to get some spare parts for Darcy. He had a um, idler tensioner bearing a bit, um, a bit shot. So, yeah, we're on our way to Dingo Beach now. So this is Aka's little lookout. So part of the Whit Sundays out there, we think. I don't, no, I don't fish, good. but it's it looks a, like it's good for fishing. Yeah, it's actually uh, there's an island just down here. Yeah. Uh, boys go spearfishing there and you can clean up with trout and all that and um, yeah, boys, even the little... I'm not, I'm not little known for catching fish, <laughs> yeah. but I do catch a couple. Oh, I've caught one. Have you caught one? First time I went barrow fishing with my mate Nick Rutho, took me out to a place called Timber Dam. Yeah. And um, yeah, I caught a 95 centimeter barrow. First There barrow. you go. I've never caught a barrow. We might, we might do this this year. Oi. <laughs> Matt, Matt's got a tinny on the back of his trail so he could punch out when we're up the top. But um, maybe some stuff off the beach this Arvo, we'll see. I don't know what we call it. What do we call this place? Hideaway Bay. Hideaway Bay. And this is apparently rare in Queensland. Sunset over the water. What are we going to do tonight, Sam? Oh. Bit of this, bit of that, bit of like po posing for the camera. Posing for the bit camera. Of... Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to go for a run. No, you're not. I am. I've got to exercise. I'm going to send it up there when the sun sets. <laughs> First night together and check out this spot. This is freaking magic. Sarsi brings a bloody analog map. <laughs> yeah, start from there. We're thinking Mosman now the Cape's underwater, the Cape uh the Crab Track's underwater, so that's a no-go. So we want to peel off right over the Daintree Ferry, up through these windy roads, do Cape Tribulation, which becomes the Bloomfield track, which goes up the coast, and then you go, we're gonna punch across or maybe up that way to Laura. And then the PDR. Morning. <laughs> we met a couple. I don't know if they're going to watch this, but hello. I told them who I was. But they're uh, traveling six months. And they left Noosa like two days ago, so they've just hit the road. I think they're doing the telly as well, so they'll be a bit behind us. But lovely young couple. We did go for a run yesterday as well. I think Aka got us on the drone doing push ups, so there's evidence of that. No one can argue. Bit of exercise. And then I threw a rod in after that, try to catch a fish. Didn't work too well. So I just cooked up some steak last night. I can't wait to get on the road again. So today we're hopefully going to be going somewhere just before camp. So we're going to try and find a camp so we don't have to camp at like a caravan park. It's never fun unless you've got to do washing and that, but it's too early for that. So there's either a waterfall area or there's a beach camp. We'll just see which one we decide. I think one's closer than the other. We'll just see how we go for travel and time. Hell yeah, you just gotta you gotta make these trips happen because you know, like Sam messaged us four weeks ago and said, Yeah, we're heading up to the cave and we had four weeks. Yeah, I'll stop and fill up. Yeah, my range ain't the best, but I do have probably the best fuel efficiency in the convoy, but I only got a 70 litre tank, so <laughs> Wait, check out. It's Hyla. 
Look at this thing, badass. What's up? Oh, it looks sick. Yeah, Some tools on the back to fix her up. Oh no, the fun police. Mate, we're gonna have a chat to you, mate. Ran your red jack through when you pass us through Brandon. Yeah. But, uh, whose car is it? It's mine, yeah, yeah. Have you checked the red jack? No, I normally get notifications and stuff. It's, uh, 20 days past the expiry, yeah. mate. Yeah. Where are you guys off to? Oh, uh, Cape York. Uh, yeah. With my, my, well, I thought you wanted to go to Cape York. Yeah, yeah. I can, I, yeah, I've got like seven cars, dude. Like, maybe I missed it. The, uh, the old retro ran out on the patrol. Oh no. So I just transferred this to business retro and it's like, I obviously haven't got the notification. I've got that many cars, but um, yeah, we'll sort it out. I'll have to ring up the transport department. <laughs> so at least I wasn't speeding. 441 and no points. It's a six cylinder, six cylinder. Yeah, can I? Nah. Come on, man. I'm planning. I actually didn't know. Yeah, 441 bucks, mate. Really? No All points. Right. Safe yeah, travel, guys, eh? Yeah, yeah. Take care, mate. Alright. See, I knew I wasn't bloody speeding. Turns out the rego from the patrol was out of date or whatever. And I just transferred it to like the business name and obviously I wasn't getting the notifications because all my other cars come in the mail and this one went to my old workshop address and as you know I've moved workshop so it must have got sent there and I bloody missed it. 400 bucks he said. $400 was the fine. Plus I got to pay Rego. What an absolute stitch up. He wouldn't let me off either. Bugger. Anyway, we'll sort that out. Jump on the phone now. Hopefully it'll be all sweet. No, but then you can see he's trying to like get out of past me to get to you. Yeah, dude, it was quick. He yeah, must, man. they must have a little thing that takes a photo. You might have to. Because he yeah. came past. It's in your license too. Yeah, but he came the other he way. He came past, yeah. it must be in the scan, scan red. Yeah, like, it must like instantly up. knows that it's yeah. out. I want to be as close as we can to Cairns for tomorrow, but this one's like 300 k's from here. Yeah, I'm we'll Punch that in. We'll get there by 5.30. Plenty of time. Price was averted, I paid the uh, rego, and he bloody stitched me up with that fine. But anyway, car's sorted, registered, and everything's up to date. What a stitch up, up, how did I forget that? Anyway, I got it sorted, it's a different CRN number, apparently in a business, it goes to my old address, whatever. It was a bloody shit show. Anyway, haven't really filmed too much today, I've done a lot of driving, it's probably the biggest day of driving. We've got eight hours, eight and a half hours, punching up to Cairns or somewhere near there. So, um, just been a lot of driving, a couple of stops. Darcy's pulled over, he's having engine noises out of his bloody Triton. I'm gonna call it a Triton this trip, just because it's still a Mitsubishi. And then, we've got two petrol V8, so they're just living at the bloody servo. And there's me with like, I've used a quarter of one of my tanks. I'll make it to Cairns, easy. So yeah, just punching through, see where we end up tonight. We arrive kind of late, it's sort of dark as you can see, but this is Bedina, is it? Babinda? Babinda Fort, no, Babinda Boulder. Boulder, so it's like a little rapid boulder waterfall thing. And we jumped out of the car and Darcy's like straight into the 40s. He's like, I'm going in. Yeah. So we're all just here to watch because it's bloody freezing, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Good at five in the morning, eh? <laughs> 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 the plan is five a.m. tomorrow, or well, not five. When we wake up, straight in there, and it'll get us refreshed, ready for a drive. Last person going for a swim, put the breakfast. Oh, that's a good one. We're going to the campsite tonight. We've done the old car park trick. But Darcy's right. We all sleep in our cars, so we're classed as caravan. What do you say, camper van? Yeah, it says caravan parking. Yeah, and we're all sleeping in tents. I'd so. like to see someone argue that's not a caravan. Yeah. I mean, it certainly handles like caravan. Yeah. 
It's a bit boaty. <laughs> we'll We're five. definitely doing the swim in the morning then because it's like walking distance. The next day. You're not ready for this. Let's do it. What's going on, Sam? You ready? It's 4.30 <laughs> and we're going in. All right, let's go. This <laughs> is what it is. Run back and warm up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go for a run, like two birds oh, on a stone. Yes, yeah. so we're going to go for a swim and a run. Yeah, we'll warm up again. You don't need to sell Sam on a run. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta commit. <laughs> that was so cold. Oh, really not much happening today. We're in Cairns. We've all kind of split doing different things, sorting out food and that for the cave. I had to get a few bits and pieces and spares, some camera mics, hard drives, random stuff. Uh, got to pick Cody up from the airport, so she'll be riding shotgun with me. So really not much happening today, so we're probably going to kick back and then pick things up tomorrow. We're going to be doing the Daintree, Bloomfield track up through Lions then and then back up through Laura, ready to hit the PDR. So. Exciting times to come, this is where it starts becoming a trip. We should be hitting some dirt roads pretty soon, so pretty keen for that. We've made cans, we're in cans now, so today is a bit of a day that we're just gonna stop, get like some supplies, I've gotta get a few things, I've got a broken dash, and um, I've gotta get a few uh, breathers, I think yeah, some breathers, so little bits and pieces today. But we're all splitting up and we'll do our own thing and then meet up this afternoon. Well, the part that I need isn't actually here. It's that Arbus cord for the Red Vision. But yeah. I definitely need to get some fuses. Yeah, so I'm here for a few little bits and pieces. I've got to get some breathers for my fuel tank. Because um, in the water crossings, I don't want to get water in my fuel system. Next thing we've got to get is a scan gauge. My dash died, so halfway up here. So I can't see anything that's going on with the motor. One hour later. Because I didn't bracket the awning properly. I, did, I didn't bracket it properly. I um, bracketed to the mesh. I didn't actually bracket it to the bars. So we want to kind of fix that before we hit the corrugations. Otherwise, we're going to do a awning no delete. Awning. That's cool. There's four of them. And some nuts and bolts just in case Sam's cars fall apart. Wouldn't be mine though. All right, so we're at Off The Wall Automotive and we got Lockie. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, hey mate, yeah. So, uh, the Mitzi, she was making a bit of a tick and uh, all bad apparently. Yeah, it looks like it might have possibly a noise near the dry belt or tom belt, so we'll get the boys, we'll pull that down a bit of a sticky BK eh, and see what we can diagnose, see what we can find out. Yeah, I called a couple of places and these, these guys were the nicest on the phone, so, and they're legends, so I'm so glad I came here. And what on earth is going on here? What is that? It's the uh, Dirty 30, mate. That's uh, Sean's car from 4 Drive 24 7. So, yeah, got in, doing a bit of work for Sean. He's a mate of mine and done a fair bit of work for him over the years. So, yeah, doing some uh, upgrades, just fixing up the aircon, full set of wheel bearings and stuff, just some damage. I think they've just come back from the Kimberley. So, yeah, yeah just fixing it up and keeping it on the road. Done yeah, it for a few sick. times now. It's always fun to see what the boys break. That's crazy. What a coincidence. Small world. Hell yeah. Hi. Hello. I just got a new perfume. Versace. Yeah. Right. And I got dry shampoo, the essentials. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we just picked Cody up from Cairns Airport. Um, Darcy's car was having some dramas. It's a mechanic, so I'm gonna catch up with the rest of them. We're heading up Daintree today. Darcy's gonna catch up either somewhere along the track or at Lion's Den. Basically, the mechanics pulled his car apart, told him, yeah, it's pretty fun. Put it back together it. again and then gave it back to him. So it didn't really achieve much, but at least I had a look through and yeah, don't really know what the problem is. A little ticking sound. This is going to go to run on the bed. Ah. Go sit on the bed and then run back. Like a weirdo. <laughs> pillow around her neck still. Okay, I got it. You wanna see? That was really hard. 
Oh my god. Let's hope I don't this crash is into Alex. a tree. What is it called? Alex Lookout? It's a bit of an epic climb, though. Oh, Whistle you V8. You can hear you spill up, then you hear yeah. him spill up, and then you just hear my exhaust go. Um, okay, so Here we are, the Low Tipica Isles York. is home made now? up of two islands, Low and Woodland Islands. You would read the sign, wouldn't you? Yeah, cool. Can't really see much on the camera. Oh, this will get the shot. We made it. Third time yeah. lucky. <laughs> Lionstown Hotel. We came the other way coming home last time, came through here, so we're going the different direction this time. Have a beer, find a campsite, I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I'm keen. Boy, last time I came here, I literally did not even come down here. We just stayed in our tents. Yeah, All right, so last night we stayed at Lions Den. We stayed a bit later this morning, did a bit of washing. We just jumped in the creek for a swim, a bit of a wake up. How you feeling? Good. Nice really and good. The yeah, others didn't go all the way in. Because we don't actually want to go too far today. We we could possibly like, we could probably make it to Cohen easy, but we do want to do that in two nights. So tonight we'll find somewhere in between. Um, stop for lunch somewhere, and then Cohen tomorrow night. Get some service, get some work done, and then we'll be punching up the PDR and really <laughs> getting remote up to I'm the excited. telly track. Pretty keen. Did a bit of um, play with the solar. So Michael bought a solar panel, an external one. I've actually got a plug on the other side for an extra solar to go in. So with the Red Vision, you can see exactly what watts are coming in. So now I'm getting 90 watts from my panel. But when we added his, it was adding an extra like 150 and I was getting proper like 15 amp charge. So that's good to know because when you stay somewhere for like longer than a day or two and you're not driving, you need that extra bit of solar. So I've already got the fixed solar panel on the roof, on the tent, but adding that extra one as well, just really punching the battery because I've got two lithiums in here, 200 amp hour and only 71%. 71% is left, so I've only used 30%, and we've been here for probably a good 12, 13 hours. So, running mint in the old Red Vision. Mmm. Now it's probably a good time. We're waiting for our washing to dry. Let's have a look at the setup. I'm gonna go probably go through the cars a little bit each. But we have it's a quick, a... quick squeeze at the old 105 or is it 100 series? 100 series. V8 v petrol. V8 petrol. Oh. Um, I've just installed the Red Vision with a lithium battery. Yeah, I'm that's having a bit of dramas with it at the moment, man. I just can't get the switching right, yep. but. I don't know, I just, I've, uh, I had the, for some reason I just done it the wrong, like the, the most difficult way I could. Because I put two single drawers together, only because they don't come out in the, Yeah. I had to do the 900s. Yeah, made a whole new top, because I wanted it to cover the whole back and yeah. have nothing fall in anywhere. So what have you changed for this Cape trip, what you would normally have for just your weekenders and that? Have you, obviously you've added the Red Vision, but yeah. what else is in here that you normally wouldn't have? Um. All the gear, but like I run this. Stuff, this yeah. is my. This is a daily. Like, yeah. like I have this for day trips as well as now Cape ready. Really, yeah, um, I got the water tank up top. Yeah. From Vast. Yeah. Man, it's a great little nifty thing. Oh, it's it, a little proper mount. Yeah. Is that from Rhino Rack? No, no, that's from Vast. Yeah, right. That's from Vast itself, and you fill up through there. Yeah. It's an 18 liter water tank, and you just turn that big orange knob. Yes. Yeah, and you get water. It's man. It's yeah, a game Rack. chamber. Platform. And pioneer, pioneer platform. Max tracks, swags. Yeah. Simple. Simple, simple. We have all V8s on this trip except the Triton, so. <laughs> it's not a Triton, it's a Challenger. It's a <laughs> like, it's no Triton. Triton. Um, and yeah. it's got a tick going on. Nah, it's sweet. Nah, it's sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look, he's, he's darting off. Oh, get <laughs> out of it again. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, um, forget about what they're talking about. I don't know, like, I, I look for simplicity. Yeah. In the simplest way, especially when you've got kids. And you want to just quickly whip up a meal. Like I'll eventually put an induction cooker in, but well, that's probably a difference because you have you taken your seats out. Yeah. So normally you'd have seats for the that's kids. That's right. So as you've got that extra space. Yeah. For like just the two of you. Let's um, let's have a look at the Triton. <laughs> so what we got here is the Triton. There, we're done. 
Oh yeah, so I haven't actually said, because we were saying your car was at the mechanic yesterday. They had a look, they pulled it apart, put it back together again and gave it back to you. <laughs> That's pretty much all that happened there. Yeah, well we know it's not the time we've got now, so. I oh, know, only time will tell. Right. <laughs> uh, morning checks. Morning checks this morning. Make sure everything's tip top. Just topped up my supercharger res tank. Yeah. See, that's why we've got a bit of time here. So before we go real bush, just I haven't really popped the bonnet this trip, but it's always good every couple of days. Check your levels and your fluids. Like I had a little bit of oil down a bit, so I've topped it. I've just put like a little top up oil. It's only a litre just for um, engine oil. Make sure that's good. You do have tiny bits of weeping here and there. Like every car has a little bit of a leak. That's a lie, it's just my cars really. Is your car leaking? Oh, uh, uh, nah, it's not really. <laughs> <laughs> my transmission's the biggest one. I've actually got, like, talk about just a litre of engine oil. I've got two five litre bottles. Um, not just because it's leaking, but my trans cooler's underneath, and if that gets a stick through it and I dump my um, oil out, I've got enough to re refill it, so. How's your car? You haven't opened your bonnet? Nah. Nah. Look at the size of that turbo. Yeah, there's a turbo there. I've got my second turbo, which is the twin turbo, then the compound into the third. And then this one at the front here, see it spins. That's the supercharger. That's the, yeah, that's the supercharger. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah easy. <laughs> having lunch at um where are we we are in laura laura it's the yeah, laura we... river well i don't know it's called the laura river but it's the river that's in laura i don't even have a wrap that big Hold that up. is a wrap and a half let's get, let's get some right. look at how thick that tomato is the lettuce you only get like four bits of chicken look at the size <laughs> of that wrap yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> out of food on day three. This is the setup we're at Laura, found the river. This is me little setup. I'll probably do a, I should do a bit of a walk around of power setup, but quick roadside stop, awning out, chairs out, gas cooker. You know the worst thing is this pan is that bloody slippery. I literally can't flip the chicken. I try and flip it and it just pushes it around. Oh, um, it's a shame we can't go for a swim. It looks a little bit stagnant. Hey, what do you reckon? I reckon it's a bit shallow. We pulled up and someone was camping there. It was still smoldering, eh? Yeah. That log. <laughs> yeah, I put it underwater and then I took it out and it started burning again. Did it? <laughs> Dice is like, I gotta go put it out in the river and it's like <laughs> Yeah, this is kinda like Cohen. Cohen the water's a bit better though. And you can swim at Cohen. Hopefully. The more deeper the more it flows, the cleaner it is. This is still a bit murky. So I don't, I don't know what the chances Just are, wait. but I was messaging Jace before. And he's like, oh, sorry, I had no service, I've been up the Cape. I'm like, yeah, no worries, I'm going to the Cape. And he just said, oh, I'm in Musgrove. And I'm like, well, I'm in Laura. And then his, his text didn't go through and it just delivered, which means he's just hit service, which means he should be coming past here soon, the next five, 10 minutes. So we'll see what the boys have been up to. All right, Tommy is on channel 27, so just grab the GME and we'll see if he's on there. Hey, Rubber Ducky, got a coffee, mate? Yo, Jay's got a coffee. Jay's got a coffee. What about a boost juice? Come on! There <laughs> <laughs> you go, mate. Yeah, big, big, yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, we hit the wet season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lake wet. Oh, what are the chances, eh? You're We're heading up there now, so. Let me switch this noise now. Yeah. You can let us know how it is then. <laughs> it's dry now. Yeah, sort of. It's all going on here, right? Have you busted us? How are we? How are we? Busted us, tired. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, mate, good meal. We tried the telly track coming yep. from the top down. Yeah, okay. And yeah, it's. Couldn't even get past Nolan. Yeah, no, she could oh, This thing got bogged and yep. flooded. Yep. yep. So, yeah, it's yeah. very deep. Yeah. We're all in the car. How deep? Yeah, the bottom of it Yeah, it's pretty it's much. about that deep and right. it's just rush up So, yeah, yeah, but other than that, old swampy, um, yeah. <laughs> Had a good run? Well, we were in this bog hole. I, I was up to the eyeballs in it. Um, the winch just wasn't doing anything. Like, I mean, like, it was just, just loading up stuff. Oh, just, yeah. yeah. So, so, we had to re roll swampy off. Just drove it off the back and Swampy reverse up in the pus that we're in. Yeah. Like it's, you know, it's, I don't know, so deep. Tiny, and then it just yeah. drove around through the swamp where you'd never drive. Yeah, yeah. You'd never drive your vehicle in there. Drove around through the swamp, out the front, and then reversed up and went. Yep. 
Is this what you call a swamp? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the road was like ba 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 like this, it's like sweet. sideways, yeah. just sludge, yeah. and then we come around through one gully and round the corner, and his old mate with his caravan. Oh shit! Just he's trying to pull it with his with he had this brand new D Max. Yep. He's sitting yep. there and he's got the missus in the car, right? Yeah. And he's got a rope. It was two little uh, like uh, tree protectors yep. joined together. What did he join it with? Like a big D shackle or something? Oh, Bow shackle? He's got one end to the back of the, the D Max and got the other end of the caravan drawbar because he's disconnected now because yeah, he's yeah. just stuck in a rut on the side. And he's just sitting there and the thing is just literally going nowhere and he's saying to the missus, Keep going, keep going. <laughs> when we rocked up, I see you not. Old, I think old mate was ready to cry. But anyway, we got to get got we got to get charging, yeah, mate. We got shit to do. We got a three day weather window, window going hard. Yeah. Cool. yeah. They're such cool guys. That is that was really fun. Um, heading up to Musgrave, I think we've decided Musgrave for the night, and then Cohen take it nice and easy. Love to see how we go with the corrugations. We might tear down, but. Sit at about 80 k's and see how it feels, but not too bad so far. So we're almost, almost at our camp for the night. We think we're gonna stay at Musgrave. It's about four o'clock. Anyone know what that sound is? Because the mechanics, they couldn't figure it out. It's not the timing belt, we know that. Um, it's none of the belts, all got all of them replaced. Looks like this one's already been raided though. Oh, it looks like she had a, she's a bit busted up. <laughs> not sure if it's a diesel or not, but uh, if I need to do the engine swap, I'll just run back here, grab the 3.2. Anyway, carry on, I'll catch up with the other guys. What'd you get us? Chuck up. Got us a chuck, Liddy. Yeah. I've got a caramel like Taylor wine. and Michael have like... Wait, from them? No, boxes. don't put it there, it'll melt. It's super hot They down. have two boxes of snacks and oh, I got jumpy. Yeah. I love jumpy. Yeah, we're at Musgrave, but I remember this camp. It's just a bit of grass and it's really busy. So we're going to go back a little bit actually because on the way here I saw a couple of little um, kind of dams, like man made dams and a track running alongside them. We might be able to punch behind one of them. So we've sort of got our own little private camp. So we do want to have a fire tonight. What is this? Oh, what? Michael, what is this fucking koala you gave me? <laughs> By the way, these are not baby wipes, so oh, don't no. use them on your coochie. What are they? It's just be gentle. No, it? they're hand wipes, they're antibacterial, they're not for ah. they're not for your butt. Be gentle sounds like it's good for that. That's what I thought too. We just pulled up um, just on the side of the PDR. We're just camping, it's gonna be pretty sick. We've got the fire going, thanks to Aka. He's cooking dinner tonight. And the boys have fully busted up their bloody, the Aldi chainsaw. What happened mate? Oh it shit! into the two piece chainsaw. Oh, Can we like wrap it around and like just kick it? Yeah, it's a wireless. Too much muscle mate, bloody pull the starter. Wow. Anyone bring a drill? Yeah. You could you could probably put a drill on the flywheel. And yeah, we'll it on do it. Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Mechanic, look at him. The old tool bro kit to the rescue again. Oh yeah, Spano, yeah, You got the, the best bloody tools in the business, <laughs> oh, mate. You gotta, good, you gotta have good tools out of here, right? Especially with broken chainsaws. <laughs> yeah. Alright, ready? Grab a gun. Yeah, we're doing it. Hey, I'll get that. Which way do we have to go, but? I don't know, we'll find out when we start it. Oh. Oh, oh no. I've bloody stripped it. He's got he's got the TIG out lane. What do they call it? Lane dimes? Yeah, dime bags, baby! <laughs> dime, dime bags! This <laughs> scene. <laughs> oh. oh Scalpel. Clear. Clear. Shot. <laughs> 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 oh. Darcy, you getting your medical kit or your toolbox? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, put my safeties on. Got him. Shut up, Sam. Just because TJ and Mac aren't here, you're the boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm boss. When TJ and Mac are around, are they the boss? Yeah. Mac's the boss. And they make us get up the is early. And Mac, three times. Like, he finds a camp. Never. Give him a second camp. He goes and has a look. It's never that one. 
third camp, you know is where we're camping. You're the opposite. Every, the first time we've gone to a camp, you've just been like sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm easy to please. But yeah, Max like nah, shit. Next one, nah, shit. Next one is the exact same. Oh, this is it, eh? Hey, Macker, if you're watching, this is it. Yeah. Since the tools are out, I thought I'd do some kind of repairs on mine. I don't really know. Behind here is like the breathers and stuff for um, the fuel for your tanks. And obviously, going through water crossings, you want them sealed up. I'm not sure if they're actually done on mine, so I'm just going to rip this guard off and make sure they're not like open to atmosphere and have like a ton of. Water going into the fuel tank would be real bad. That's what's rattling down the highway. First, first night camping in the Cape York Peninsula. It is so exciting, I just can't wait. This trip is just a trip of a lifetime, really. Boop. Got myself a bit of a mischief. What happened? Yeah, I ripped my trailing arm out. I'm facing backwards at the moment. How does it come out that far? It's come out, it's come all the way out. All right, let's get it off then, eh? obviously strip the thread out these are like an adjustable lower and it's quite a fine thread to be honest for something that's meant to hold the car together <laughs> you're wrong and it's just, just stripped out she's pretty bad normally these have an o-ring on them keep the water out but it might have got some rust in there and corrosion there was washouts man they just come up so fast really hard to see and i slowed down for one michael was behind me in the dust michael just went for a bit of an overtake and then it was one of those washouts and uh, I didn't give him a call out saying that it was there. He hit it pretty hard and he snapped his trailing arm. So we're just gonna have to work on getting that back together. I'm no mechanic. Like we got Sam, the boys that actually know what they're talking about. Uh, Sam's pretty much an expert when it comes to patrols, so. All right, so we've got a big ratchet strap around the lower control arm, holding that together. A little one to pull the diff forward to get the nut through, the nuts through, ratchet straps on, tie the excess away and then hope this summer in Cohen to fix this thing, throw some welds on it or something. What are you doing cooking lunch? I forgot to put my gas on the way. It's been leaking in the back of my car. Oh. No wonder I was getting a bit dizzy. Danger. <laughs> All right, so we have found a welder. Old mate was like, oh, I don't know, I'll call a bloke. And then his missus is like, oh, we got one in the back shed. They so, live here? Yeah, no yeah shit. so honestly, we went first in the back, take both arms off, yeah. weld the shit out of one and just tuck the other. Yeah, yeah, I think. Just in case. Is it that shed you said? That shed right there. I saw that one, I'm like, that's got to have a welder in it. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Yeah, oh man, the whole way here is like just jittering and yeah. shaking and shit. I'm like, crisis averted. We're on. Um, and uh, and Ark is a bloody boiler. Yeah, he maker. come up to me. He's like, he's a welder. Like, I can weld him. Like, Why did he go? Yeah, my boiler. I'm like, he's a boiler. What are the chances? So we'll get him to do it. He's, he knows all this shit. So so yeah, we'll drive over and yeah, sort it all out. Cue the dramatic music. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. Here's some good shots of the Arky Weldy Weldy, bit of Scott yeah, Morrison. Doing? No rest for the wicked. Got reception, bit of study. We will be having uh, a bit of service tonight, hopefully. I've got to do some work stuff. Everyone needs to chat to family and whatnot anyway. So the Ben's in Cohen as reception, if you didn't know that. So it's really not far, we're here, and we're going there. <laughs> this is like 10, 15 minute drive. But Darcy has been here before, so here he knows somewhere right near a creek, so we're gonna have a swim, keep cool, because it is warming up here, that's for sure. Anyway, we're at Cowan. This is the bend, the bends, whatever you want to call it. 
there is a couple of bends. This is Darcy's. He's been here before. He found a mint spot. We're all in the, in the river. I got our bloody camp chairs. A couple of beers. My hot spot is still on. You get it? Okay. Doing my legal research assignment. Woo. This is the last reception, so you, don't, you have to get it done today. Oh, uh, one for the camera. Oh, oh yeah! We got it! A great idea for a toilet. Just, just cut the hole now. Just don't think there. about it. Cut the hole. I feel like I've done this before. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna scrapey. <laughs> scrapey, <laughs> scrapey the wee wee. <laughs> now I gotta just brew one. Built not bought. <laughs> Get it ready. And it's got a toilet seat. Close the seat when you're done. Okay, and we're making a pizza. Dave, why don't you use normal milk? No, I don't know. It's just what the recipe says from years ago. This is gonna be the chicken luxer. It's easy. It's a one pot wonder. We got two pots here, four cans of coconut milk. The Luxa paste is the secret ingredient. Frozen veggies, bit of water, and some spring onions. I'm gonna just be chopping these up. <laughs> you know how you do it. I forgot the best ingredient. Two minutes notice. I did forget two important ingredients. The chicken for the chicken Luxa and Maggie's two minute noodles. Right, turn these on. Oh, my God. oh run. <laughs> no good. <laughs> Boom. All right. Oh, oh, ah! oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We've had that many burns on this trip, it's not even funny. So, is that one on? They're both on. I don't have any knuckleheads. Holy smokes. Oh, shit. Who's I told you I'm good at cooking. All right, so I'm gonna cook the chicken a bit. This is where you chuck in the Luxa paste. So you just wanna like brown the chicken with a bit of this in there. Gives it the flavor. Two scoops if you like a bit of spice, one if you don't. Now mix that in. Yeah, right. Bit of that, bit of that, just one little bit. You just want to wait till that's pretty much browned or like almost cooked through, but not quite because obviously it cooks later when we put the juices in. So you just want to brown the chicken for like maybe three or four minutes. This is the point where you can start chopping your veggies. <laughs> Done. Carrot, peas, and corn. And spring onion. We've let it sit for a couple of minutes. It's about touch dry, I've done about two coats. Now we're going to throw in some uh, Coconut milk, with 500 grams of chicken, you want maybe two of these. Woo! You want to mix it with some hot water, so usually about the same, so like half coconut water, half actual water. It's a chicken lark, so with the juices. All right, we're gonna chuck some veggies in now, so you can see it's sort of starting to boil up, a few little bubbles coming through, so that, uh, what is it? Coconut milk has started to heat up to match the temperature and everything else. And then you just freeze it again with frozen veggies. It's all about putting heat in, taking it out, put it back in again. Spring onion. Oh, smell it. And then we just wait for that to basically heat up again, get the bubbles up, and then the last thing is the noodles. That's pretty much done, it's that easy. Flies like it. They don't think it's good. Approved? Yeah, it's all right. Ah, it's good. Ah, it's good. It's my favorite. It's really nice. You added way more spice. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Sam. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Out of 10. Oh, did you see the flies love it? <laughs> they can't keep themselves away from it. A little later. There's alcohol in the beers. But it, he's not driving though. <laughs> oh. He put the alcohol in the drugs. <laughs> Did I have breakfast? Hey, this been stopped for a um uh RBT, the license check, thanks. Yep. Bloody, I tell you what. I feel covered. Bloody a cop magnet if I've ever seen one, that's for sure. Never been pulled over so many times. Alrighty, just making the turn off, the turn off to Cape York. So, one way Weeper, one way Cape York. And here we come, next stop um, Bramwell, then the Telly. Turn off for Bramwell Station where we'll be staying tonight. And the next stop is the Roadhouse, which is literally the last bit before the telly track. So it's pretty gnarly from here on. 
Batteries are loving life, but I can actually see the fridge temp from the app. How cool is that? Where is it? 14 degrees. That's pretty warm. Locking at the castle. <laughs> camp. Let's go find some far corner or somewhere. We're gonna tell them they have, that they have Wi-Fi. Oh, they have Wi-Fi. It's new. He's like, we put it in a couple years ago. Wi-Fi at the, at the park. If you want to come to Bramwell, happy hours at five. And they do dinner if you want to pay, was it a hundred bucks? Hundred dollars for dinner? Yeah, left. Hundred bucks for dinner or it's just thirty. Hundred dollars for dinner? Yeah, or it's thirty for Hold just, just camping. Why are you skipping over that so quick? Because it's a buffet. Hundred dollars for one meal? Camping and buffet food and shit. How much is camping? Thirty. So seventy dollars for dinner? Yeah. Nobody's paying seventy dollars for dinner. Oh, he said it sells out every night, so they put the price up. No way. I'm serious. I don't believe you. We'll have to talk to Darcy. Please click the button to your left if you want to go and check out the latest merchandise we have on our website. If you missed last week's episode, click down below to see it. And most importantly, on the far left, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.